Hello, my name is Addie. Thank you for joining me for this gentle yoga flow on location here at Lakeside Wilderness Area in Branson. It's a beautiful park right in the center of the town, but most of the time you'd never know it. Traffic noise is at a minimum. I'm surrounded by these dogwoods and redbuds and daffodils that are kind of finishing up their time. Today we'll go ahead and start in an easy seated pose. Now for the purposes of today's flow, bring your right leg in front. Even if that's not your natural way to sit, I promise we'll do the other side as well. Keeping it all even. <sighs> Take a deep inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. One more time, deep inhale. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. And we'll bring the lips together gently. Let the eyes flutter closed. Bring the awareness to the breath. Allowing it to flow in and out of the nose. Allowing the breath to deepen. Inhales, fill the belly with air. And exhales, feel that belly draw towards the backbone. Inhales, grow the crown of the head tall. Exhale, send roots into the earth from the hips and the feet, the ankles, anything that's touching the earth. Grow those roots. Next inhale, draw the right arm overhead, look up. Exhale to drop the right hand towards the left knee. Inhale, left arm rises and so does the gaze. Exhale, left hand to the right knee. So those arms are crossed in front of us. Let's find some movement here. Maybe a little cat and cow. They're gonna be small ones with our arms like this. Maybe you find a few neck rolls. Take a moment and just tune into your body, moving how it's asking you to. Next inhale, allow the hands to rise. We're gonna wind the arms together into eagle arms. So you can bring the palms together or the backs of the hands. Inhale to grow the crown tall, bring the thumbs to the third eye. Exhale, folding forward, reaching those arms towards the earth. Leave the hips on the mat. Inhale, rise. Exhale, twist to the left, and then release the arms. Bring the right palm to the left leg and the left hand falls behind. Inhale, grow. Exhale, melt into the twist. Next exhale, release just the chin. And then another exhale, releases the body. Drop the hands behind the hips, fingers forward. Bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Deep inhale. Exhale, root into the hands and the feet. And the hips rise for a reverse tabletop. Maybe dropping the head back. Exhale, lower the hips, 
and find that opposite cross. The left leg is on top or in front. Settling back into the earth. Inhale, left arm rises, look up. And exhale, the left hand to the right knee. Inhale, right arm rises. Exhale, right palm to the left knee. And find those cats and cows and neck rolls. Find the movement your body is asking for right at this moment. Next inhale, wind the arms together, bringing the backs of the hands or the palms, grow the crown tall, thumbs to the third eye. Another inhale grows you even taller. Stay here or on the exhale, fold it forward. Bringing those eagle arms to the mat, hips stay rooted. Inhale, rise. Exhale, find a twist to the right. Release the hands, left hand on the right thigh. Right hand behind. Inhale, grow the crown of the head tall. Exhale, melt into the twist. Next exhale, release the chin. Keeping the twist of the body. And exhale, release the twist. Drop the hands behind the hips, fingers forward. Soles of the feet to the mat. Deep inhale. Exhale, root into the hands and the feet. Let the hips and the back rise. Reverse tabletop. Maybe drop the head back. And release the hips to the mat. Cross the ankles, roll over them. Find your tabletop pose. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Inhale, drop the belly, shine the heart. Exhale, round the spine, push the earth away. Inhale to cow. Exhale, cat. Continue that motion. Follow the rhythm of your breath. You can incorporate any other motions that feel good as well. Like maybe you move side to side or drop the hips back. Circle the torso. If you do decide to circle, go in both directions. Finishing the cat and cow you're on. Maybe one more. And then meet me in tabletop pose. Walk the palms back towards the knees, bringing yourself to a kneeling position. I kind of like to call this mini mountain, but that's not a real name. But our palms are facing forward and we're drawing the crown of the head tall as we root in with the shin. And inhale, sweeps the right arm overhead, look up. Exhale, right palm comes to the right heel. You can have those feet flat, or if it makes it easier to reach the heel, you can come up on the toes as well. And so we'll inhale, left arm rises, reaches for the back heel, bring the hips down. Inhale, right arm high, sweeping it around and up. Back to that right heel, drop the hips. Inhale, left arm rises, finding a dancing camp. Follow the rhythm of your breath and continue this graceful movement. You 
you can continue with the dancing camels or if you wish to go into a full camel, reach both hands back to the heels, look up, tighten those glutes, keep the hips over the knees, maybe drop the head. Wherever you are, sweep both arms overhead, exhale them to the heart, drop the hips to the heels for a thunderbolt pose. Leave the toes together, take the knees out wide, extend the arms out long, uh, reaching with the crown of the head until you rest the forehead on the mat, child's pose. Press into the left palm, inhale, right arm rises. And then on the exhale, take that right arm under the left, threading the needle. Bring the right shoulder and the right ear down to the mat. Press into the left palm, inhale, right arm rises. And exhale that right arm back down. Find your child's pose. Press into the right palm. Inhale, left arm rises. Exhale, thread the left arm under the right. Left shoulder down, left ear down. Extend that right arm long. Press into the right arm. Inhale, left arm rises. And exhale, left arm down. One more breath in that child's pose. Walk the palms back towards the knees. You can take the legs out to one side or cross over them and roll over those ankles. Making our way to a seat. Check that you're in the middle of your mat. And then allow the back body to gently find the mat. Draw the knees into the chest, hug them in. Maybe a little gentle side to side movement. Arms fall to a T, palms face down, and let those knees fall to the left. Inhale that head to center. And exhale, press into the palms, bring the knees back to center, a little side to side movement. And when you're ready on an exhale, press into the palms, knees fall right, gaze falls left. Inhale, the head to center, and exhale, knees to center. From here, take any final movements or postures that your body's asking for, and then make your way to your final Shavasana, finding that place where you can let go and rest. 
letting go of the breath, letting go of the body. No, I'll wake you in just a few minutes. So let go. Let the benefits of the practice soak in. Bring your awareness back to the breath. Notice it flowing in and out of the nose. Bring your awareness to the sound of my voice, to your body lying heavy on your mat. Begin to wiggle the fingers and toes, bringing life back into the body kind of like the first breeze of springtime. Roll the wrists, roll the ankles. Inhale, draw the arms overhead, reaching from fingertips to toes, stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, melt into that mat, like it's not quite time to get up yet. Inhale to reach and grow. Exhale, roll to the right side. Use your bicep as a pillow. Taking several breaths here, giving gratitude to yourself for taking time to do something just for you. When you're ready, press in with the left hand and then the right and bring yourself to an upright seat. I thank you so much for practicing with me, for sharing your love and light. It's been my honor. Until next time, namaste.